Welcome to this video produced by the Faith Lutheran Green Team and our supporters. We'd like to talk to you today about how important it is to take seriously the land that has been entrusted to us by God. We're learning about two main things. One is the interconnectedness with everything. And number two, the importance of native plantings. Here is a video from Barney and Patty Nowell about their lovely native garden. You can see that they have grown these wonderful plants and they have butterflies and other pollinators that have come and learned to live there. Things like this are very important for our children and our children's children's future. Remembering the interconnectedness of everything and the principle of gravity, we remember that water runs downhill. Everything we can do to reduce our stormwater runoff gives the Lock Raven Reservoir, the Chesapeake Bay, and ultimately the Atlantic Ocean a reprieve from business as usual, which of course has been rain gutters, downspouts, running into storm drains, running into creeks, streams, waterways, rivers, and oceans. Nowadays, there's a handy saying for rainwater, slow it down, spread it out, and soak it in. Some of the best ways to slow the flow of rainwater is by planting trees, shrubs, and other native plants. Which is why we're celebrating Earth Day this week by kicking off our Plant a Tree campaign. Almost everyone knows that trees and other living plants are valuable, but there are many different ways to plant trees. So, since many of us answered that we hadn't planted a tree in the previous year, but we'd be open to planting trees in the future, the Green Team chose Plant a Tree for our 2021 campaign. The campaign will have three emphasis. Number one, planting trees, where you are. Number two, donating to tree causes. And number three, joining with others for community tree planting projects. What is the true value of a tree? It may be priceless in the beauty it brings to a street, city park, or backyard, but can an actual dollar amount be placed on its worth? The USDA Forest Service in California found that for everything spent on planting and caring for a tree, the benefits are two to five times that investment. Benefits to human include clean air, improved soil, lower energy costs through wind reduction and cooling shade in the summer, improved sound barriers, increased property values, and improved water quality and storm water control. And trees support the lives of many large organisms. Benefits to wildlife include food, resting, nesting, and shelter. Each week during this Plant a Tree campaign, Fate's newsletter will feature a tree tidbit for your enjoyment. Tidbits will be inspirational, educational, or action-oriented. Tree tidbits will also be stored on Faith's website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel. Let's let Patty and Barney Mao show us how they recently planted a tree on their own property, demonstrating how achievable the first phase of our Plant a Tree campaign can be. Today we're going to plant a tree. It's the first day of spring. We thought it might be a great time to do this. This is a weeping cherry tree that we just recently purchased. Um, we're going to plant it in an area that we know it'll have plenty of space to grow. It could grow to be 20 to 25 feet. This is also an area that we, we no longer mow and so we're looking to put some um, trees and plants in here. And um, we're going to follow uh, the guide. Plus we also picked up um, a tree planting guide from Valley View and there were instructions that came at the bottom of the tree. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're ready for planting. So we've made a hole that is about um, two times the size of the ball of the tree and um, the tree should sit up a couple inches above the level of the soil. Um, you don't want it to be too deep. You need to make sure that your tree is straight and then you um, Start to put in some dirt. So 
we're on the last couple steps. Um, Barney's putting a protective wrap around the tree to protect it temporarily until we can get a metal cage. We have a lot of deer that come through here and we don't want them to damage the tree. Um, once that's on, he's gonna give it some water. Watering your trees, it's very important um, until they get well established. We don't have a hose down here, so we'll be carrying water down um, to make sure that the tree is well hydrated. And that's it. I'm here to leave you with a bit of inspiration. A quote from Peter Wohenbein in his book, The Hidden Life of Trees. In the case of trees, being old doesn't mean being weak, fouled, and fragile. Quite the opposite. It means being full of energy and highly productive. This means elders are markedly more productive than young whippersnappers, and when it comes to climate change, they are important allies for human beings. And here's a call to action. For the next 30 weeks, take just 30 seconds, just half a minute, several days a week to appreciate the trees you encounter. And after thanking the ones you encounter, increase their numbers by saying yes to the opportunities we'll be presenting to plant a tree.